real life This ain't no fantasy We've never been a fairy tale God made it very clear He made himself flesh up and breast That he would wanna do it Nothing. So no fame. So it was one night where 
I had a decision to make and I was, you know, deceiving myself being irrational and, and, uh, and I said, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do it this way. I, you know, it, it was somewhere in me wanted to do it the other way, which is the right way. But I was like, you know, I'm going to do it this way. Ain't nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it to do it this way, the situation that I'm talking about. And um, I was laying on the couch, and I couldn't get no sleep. But I woke up around 3 o'clock in the morning, and it just instantly hit me what I should do. I mean, basically, what I've been thinking about what was right, it just reconfirmed it, but it was even stronger. It was even stronger that I need to do it that way. Forget what I was wanting to do. And I believe uh, Chapel Pond said that uh, God uh, searches out for us. I, that's what he was doing. That's the truth. He was searching. He didn't leave me alone. So when we in our sin and we mess up and we fall, he's, God still will make us go through something. He'll put something in our way to bring us right back around to him. And that's what he was doing. I woke up out of my sleep and I was just, I was dedicated. I was passionate. I said, I'm going to do it this way. And I woke up that morning and, and did action. I changed what I, the route that I was on and wanted to do it the right way. And that was the Holy Spirit. My desire is to walk with God, but somehow I had to behind. I couldn't bring myself to break through. I felt so far away. Yeah. I felt alienated from the saints and that's a shame. My heart was hard, so scarred from just the other day. Now this life is hard. I guess I'll go the other way. The grass is greener over there. I'll make that my escape. But when I took a step, I became clueless. I took another step and had me feeling stupid like this. But I'm stuck in the room and you say, stay and stay. If you don't know what you should do, you gotta stay and stay. Forgive and repent. And repent and forgive. If you wanna be a saint, this is how we gotta live. The Holy Ghost took control of me. It took control of me. I tried to do it wrong, but couldn't help but do the right thing. I tried it on my own, but I felt so alone. Money couldn't make me happy. Jesus wouldn't let me go. That's what I'ma follow you. Lord, I'ma follow you. Jesus, I'ma follow you. Yeah, I'ma follow you. On everything I follow you. With everything I follow you. I'll follow you, Lord. I'll follow you. I learned that. A lot of young people, like older, you know, they, they probably don't understand the whole hip hop culture, but I learned that, you know, the hip hop culture is not bad, it's what we do with it. You know, we can have a bad message and then I was bad. Really, that's what it's known to be, but you know what? Let's make it different. Let's make it, let's make it different. Let's worship God. And a lot of young people that come from the streets listen to that. So, okay, they don't, they gotta gradually go into the worship music and the choir music, so we have something for you. You know what I mean? We have something for that you can relate to, the metaphors, the banging beats, you know, and, and but it's a positive message to keep you on your road to success with the Lord. Yes. I'm not even going to give a shit.